Hi, my name is Sparkle Meadows, and today I'm going to be taking you through the latest Chrome and Web announcements from Google I.O. We had some exciting new updates and releases, all aimed to bring you innovative capabilities and tools to build web experiences that are more powerful than ever. Let's get right into it. AI continues to evolve how developers build and create, and it's no different for the web. And now you can harness the power of on-device AI with Gemini Nano built right into the Chrome desktop. Gemini Nano is Google's most efficient model for on-device tasks. With built-in AI, soon you'll be able to deliver powerful AI features to Chrome's billions of users without having to worry about prompt engineering, fine-tuning, capacity, or cost. All you'll have to do is call a few high-level APIs like Translate, Transcribe, or Caption. And now you can explore further use cases with a prompt API. This experimental API lets you send natural language instructions to an instance of Gemini Nano in Chrome. Join our early preview program and help us shape the future of web development. We know that AI models can be costly and cumbersome to run, so we're committed to ensuring AI models can run quickly and efficiently. With WebGPU and Wasm as the backbone for on-device AI on the web, we introduce new improvements like 16-bit floating point values in WebGPU and Memory64 and JavaScript Promise integration in Wasm to make AI run even faster at scale on a vast majority of devices. Depending on your web experience, you can now select among built-in AI, server-side AI, or even a hybrid approach. With WebGPU, Wasm, and Gemini built into Chrome, the web is AI ready. AI can also vastly improve developer workflows. Chrome DevTools is one of the most popular ways to debug and troubleshoot your app. So we are bringing Gemini to make Chrome DevTools easier than ever. Gemini will now generate insights right in your Chrome DevTools. It will help you understand messages, errors, what the problem is, and even how to fix it. Chrome DevTools Console Insights is available now. Make sure to try it out. With all the exciting AI news, let's turn the page to continue and see how we're improving web page navigation. With the new Speculation Rules API, we are enabling near-instant navigation by prefetching and pre-rendering pages in the background. This allows pages to load in milliseconds. As an early tester of the Speculation Rules API, Tokopedia was able to see a 4.8 time loading time improvement to the largest contentful paint, LCP, of their product description pages. Get started with only a few lines of code and see how speculation rules can enable near instant seamless browsing experiences. Seamless visual transitions are important, both for this video and for your website. So we introduce a view transitions API, letting you animate easily between page states. Whether you build a multi-page application or a single page app, you'll be able to create a fluid navigation experience, regardless of your site's architecture. As an early adopter of the View Transition API, Airbnb created smooth and seamless navigations from the listing editor sidebar right into editing photos and adding amenities, all within a fluid user flow. Combine the speculation rules and View Transitions APIs to see how we're truly improving the web navigation experience for developers and users alike. Now, you might be wondering, when will I know if these amazing features are available across browsers? Not to worry. We've got that covered too, with updates to Baseline, the tool to understand browser support for web platform features. We're taking all the information from Baseline and introducing the new web platform dashboard. With this, you'll be able to see the entire web platform mapped out as a set of features, follow their development, and check their interop status. We'd love to hear your suggestions for the dashboard. If you have an idea or want to report a bug, find us on GitHub and let us know. We've heard from developers that Baseline works best when integrated into your workflow and the tools you use every day. That's why Akamai's RUM Archive has a new tool for developers on RUM Archive Insights. For the first time, you can see the global user share of Baseline versions and features that are unlocked with that version of Baseline side by side. For example, if you adopt Baseline 2022 and therefore want to use no features newer than that, your IDE should let you know if you use a newer feature. We'll continue to release improvements, including RUM Vision, which will soon include baseline data and the information it provides about your audience. With the web features data becoming more complete every day, this is a great time to think about how you can integrate it. 
We believe one of the best platforms for building and deploying web apps is Angular. We're now working on partial hydration, so JavaScript will load and hydrate part of your app only when needed, significantly improving core web vitals for performance-sensitive apps. It's coming in developer preview later this year. We also want to give you more granular control over the detection and management of changes in your apps. So this year, Angular also introduced a new set of reactive APIs that empower a first-class developer experience with Signals. Signals enable fine grain change detection that will only check your individual components in your component tree to propagate state changes, so you no longer have to manually optimize the UI. Signal-based reactive APIs are available today, right out of the box. Lastly, we're unlocking more ways of building immersive web experiences by bringing photorealistic 3D maps to the familiar Maps JavaScript API from Google Maps Platform. Now, you can take advantage of Google's rendering technology to deliver rich 3D maps at the speed your users expect with our rich base map and information of more than 250 million places and businesses around the world. The best part? You can get started with a single line of code. Try out photorealistic 3D maps in Maps JavaScript at no cost during the experimental phase. We can't wait to see the stunning, immersive experiences you'll build. And that's it for all the major launches and updates from Web and Chrome. Hope you are as excited as we are, and we can't wait to see you build for the powerful web made easier.